Warning, this video will contain themes and opinions that may annoy self-entitled 12 year olds with no humour or humility. If you believe yourself to be one of these people, please be sure to smash that dislike button and write me an angry comment about how much I suck dick. Viewer discretion is advised. TF2 is a hard game because it takes real skills because because it's hard to play. All games have to be difficult to learn and master because because who needs casual gaming environments where you can just have fun, am I right? Oh my god, this game has a payload. It's a Battleborn clone. I mean, I haven't played Overwatch, but my friend's brother, who's my sister's dog's groomer's cousin's daughter, said it was bad. So I'm going to believe him. Oh my god, Blizzard just wants you to buy their cases so that they get more money. They don't pull out real updates. Shh. Only cosmetic ones because all they care about is money. Not like our run and true sale of Volvo. Over Overwatch gets too many well thought out updates with interesting new characters, lore, and game mechanics to be a good game. Only the most perfect games release broken updates around once a year. My name is Lay Epic Scout, and I must protect Valve from all these mean content creators. Ah. <laughs> wow, people really celebrate Overwatch's anniversary update? It stole it from Team Fortress 2, the game had an anniversary first. Oh, what's it so easy? It's just the casual fest of pressing Q. Dude, have you, like, ever even played the game? Well, uh, no. All in all, I honestly love both of these games. I really do. Whining that one is going to outlive the other is kind of just pointless. TF2 is a great game, and it has the power of legacy. It's a very old game with a very, very loyal player base. A player base that has formed communities that are so loyal to the game that they're going to stick it out to the end. And we have this amazing community that doesn't go. They stay and they work on this game, they work with the community, they run charity events, tournaments, they make artwork, models, hats, they do all of these things for this community that keeps the game going. And it's so integral and so intertwined into this community because they've been around for so long. However, Overwatch has the opposite power. Overwatch is a relatively new game, just hitting its one year anniversary. And it's come from a legendary game company like Blizzard. And it had its booming initial growth. It actually hasn't taken any time to stop yet. This is of course helped by Blizzard's constant nurture of updates in a very frequent manner. The thing is, Blizzard is a great game. And it's been great from the start. And it's a huge start. It's huge boost in players that have kept the game going to this point. And it's had this amazing amazing threshold of updates added to it that just keeps the game going more and more and more. And overall the game is just really fresh and new, for new players and people have been around for the entire year themselves. This means that the game stays alive because it's new, people are hyped up, it's this brand new Blizzard game that we all want to play. When you look at TF2, it's an old Valve game that really doesn't get too much attention anymore. But we have, as I said, the community. But another comment I see most people making is that Overwatch is too easy and it actually takes less skill than TF2 does. Even if that is true. If that is hypothetically true, is there anything really wrong with that? Both are casual first person shooter games and games are just meant to be fun. They're meant to be a relaxing vacation from your everyday life. Not really a strain on you, but in the end, it all matters to what you want from a game and your opinion on both of these games. If you want a stressful, hands-on experience where you have to focus on the game and nothing else, maybe try out competitive, as both games support it. Maybe in different ways, but they support it nevertheless. Maybe you just want a casual setting. Maybe you want to sit back, enjoy a game, take a break from everyday life. Then go play the casual settings in both of these games. These games really are more alike than you think, and that's not a problem, as both games can be enjoyable depending on what you want and what you think of both of them. 
there is no reason to clash and to have arguments about it. Yes, debates are fine, but simply attacking someone because they enjoy a different game to you is not fair. So no matter what your opinion is on either of these games, there really is no need to constantly fight and bicker. We can just allow each other to enjoy our game. We can do this without provoking each other. This game wasn't intended to start any fights, it was just a little, a little jokey piece intended to mock some of the over-the-top stereotypes of some of the people I see in my everyday rounds of the TF2 community. So please don't take this too literally. This video is simply a joke. As though I did have that antagonizing discretion at the start, this video is simply a joke. It's raising awareness of some of the stuff I seen in the community in a jokey fashion. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and good night.